Welcome! It's a great day to be a miner because we got some new hardware, baby. We're going to unbox this thing, we're going to set it up, we're going to get it tested, and we're going to go over all the specs and features. But first, let's spin that intro. Disclaimer, first and foremost, this item was provided to us from Altair Technologies at no cost to us for a product review. That being said, this is not a sponsored video and the opinions in the video are that of our own. Now that we got that out of the way, what do we have in here? What's in, oh, the, box? What's in the box? This is from Altair Technologies and I'm pretty excited about this because I'm a, a big solo miner. I love playing the lottery and of course, I have a whole bunch of different kind of lottery devices. I've got Avalon uh, Nano 3s. I've got 3S coming. I've got a whole bunch of bid axes. I've got the Mars Lander behind me churning away with USB sticks. Nerd Miner 2. Um, that's kind of my thing. Like we, we really like digging into these solo miners. Lucky Miner. Forgot about Lucky Miner. We got a Lucky Miner 07. We're getting a Lucky Miner 08. Um, so yeah, we, we have a lot of experience in the Bitcoin solo mining realm. And uh, so this is pretty exciting to us. These are custom design Bitax Gammas. Gamma is the newest, latest, greatest from the Bitax line. If you wanna check out all about the Bitax Gamma itself, check out my full review video up above. And uh, it goes through the entire full setup and all that jazz, but this is just a special custom model that Altair sells. I'll make sure to put links down in the description for this guy. Um, but without further ado, let's open this thing up. You know what time it is, baby? RGB knife? Yeah, engage. Never gets old. Okay, so first foremost, when we opened, it came in just a packing envelope. Uh, the box did get a little bit scuffed up, but not bad has a, uh, we did get a altairtech.io, nice little logo sticker here in the hexagon and a nice little square. Ooh, this one's a magnet, so that's pretty nice. But uh, yeah, thank you to Altair for those. And then let's see what's inside. I didn't even have to cut it. Sorry, RGB knife. Well, sorry, buddy. You didn't even get any work. I thought there would at least be a CO on here, but anyway, it's a custom box. Um, and it does have the little Bitaxe 1377 on it. It has Altair's logo. Um, for miners, by miners, that's Altair's motto. And on the bottom, it just says ASIC miners, parts, accessories. And it has their direction, um, their address, and their website. So that's interesting. All right, let's open it up and see what's in that box again. <laughs> All right, so right inside the box, you have a QR code which gives you the setup instructions and FAQ. Um, and this will just jump you right to the, um, to the site, which is altair.io slash bidax. Inside the box, what do we got? We got a power supply and we've got a custom bidax. So I guess we don't need that. I don't even know how I broke something with that little box. Anyway, let's, let's move on. Um, so yeah, there we go. Let's open first the power supply. You got a just standard block with your barrel barrel connector, barrel jack. Um, it is a five volt, uh, six amp. So that should be able to handle it fine. It's, it's so personally, I, I, I prefer the ones with the little brick. I feel like they usually are more stable. Plus they give you more leeway. This takes up more of your outlet, your power strip space. So I like the single plug with the brick in the middle, but some of them have it, some of them don't. So let's open up. It comes in the nice anti-static bag. Ooh, that is pretty. Okay, so first and foremost, right off the bat that pops out to me, this thing has a beautiful um, 3D printed style case, but it's a custom design. This isn't one that I've ever seen on say Thingiverse or printables, because of course I'd just print my own. It has the white Bitax logo embossed right here on the front. That's kind of down into the plastic, so that's pretty cool. It looks like it's painted on there. It almost looks like it's custom painted. So then if we spin it around, you've got some ventilation on the side. You've got a slot for your barrel plug, your um, USB-C plug here on the side. Then it's got some venting holes on both sides. On the back has the nice Altair logo. 
and then it has a bunch of air holes of course for ventilation then on the front what screams out to me right away is the nice ice tower cooler love me the ice tower um, i just installed one myself check out that video i've also put on a um, argon thermal which is way bigger and massive and way overkill and honestly the argon thermal where it keeps the cpu down or the uh, asic chip way down you're still heating up the the mosfets so it's the ice tower is more than adequate to push this bidax gamma as far as you can push it without it overheating the power mode module not necessarily the asic chip so this cooler is what i recommend to everyone going forward ice tower it's cheaper it's way easier to install it's kind of a plug and play you have to print your own bracket or buy a bracket for the mount um, but other than that yeah that's that's it this thing is beautiful let's take a close-up look of it um, it even says right here reset and reset and uh, reset and boot like so the the case actually has the reset and boot written on where the buttons go so because you can't see the board so that's a nice little quality of life feature too yeah, let's take a nice close-up look at this thing and then we're gonna plug it in and we're gonna get it mining. I wonder how stable this thing is. It's more stable than my light, apparently. Oh yeah, that's a solid case. Because these coolers are a little bit front heavy, so yeah, that's good. All right, let's take a close-up look at this thing. All right, man, she is a beaut. This thing is really nice. It looks sleek, it's compact. It's all feels nice and tight compared to say just where I've put it into a one of the uh, minimalist stands. Um, I think this thing's gonna be really nice. So let's talk about the specs on these things real quick. It's a bit axe gamma, as I said, and they have the same specs internally because it's running the same ASIC chip. It should be the BM1370 uh, ASIC chip from Bitmain. The thing will boast up to around, it actually boasts 1.2 um, tera hash uh, a second on the SHA-256 algorithm. That's the same one as Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Digibytes, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it runs up only around 20 watts to pull that 1.2. Of course, these things can be heavily overclocked. If you need to know how to overclock, check out my overclocking video above and I show you in depth how to unlock those additional settings to really push the performance while also trying to pull down the efficiency to make it more efficient. So next, let's go ahead and do the physical setup. Physical setup is pretty, pretty straightforward. Physical setup is, since this runs on Wi-Fi, it doesn't direct plug into Ethernet. The only thing for physical setup, plug this into the wall, plug this into the power connector on the side of this thing, right there onto the barrel jack, and power it up. I do like that that quality of life. I didn't notice that. It's got the, it's an L-shaped on the power adapter, so it fits really nicely with this case and kind of shoots back. This is a really, that that's the kind of small attention to detail that really elevates um, something like this compared to say just a standard bit axe. So that's pretty nifty. So yeah, we're gonna go plug it in, let's go. <laughs> Magic baby. All right, it's plugged in and right away it fires up just like any of the other bit axes. It says connecting to SSID, my, SS, my SSID. So the quick and dirty of it and how to set one of these up, you take your phone or a mobile device that can connect to Wi-Fi. You then connect the mobile device to this wireless network. So you would go switch your Wi-Fi, connect to this device, and then um, it will allow you go to go to the interface. And from the interface, you set your Wi-Fi SSID, your main one that you're gonna have this connecting to, put in your password, put in your pool information, your Bitcoin wallet or whatever coin you're mining, Bitcoin cash, dot your worker name, and then that's it. You save the thing, you leave the overclocks as default at first, and then you reboot it, fire it up, as long as you've got your SSID typed exactly how you have it, with the exact password how you have it, this thing will then connect and it will uh, look at the pool, the port, and the uh, wallet address, and it'll start firing up and mining. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If you need to know in depth how to do that, check out my full setup guide above. 
I'm gonna save you some time and I'm not gonna do that on this one, but if you need help, yeah, check it out, check out the video. So we're gonna go ahead and go get this thing connected, fire it up, and we're gonna see how well it hashes just as is and what the settings look like stock. I'm sure it probably is just using the same default, but hard to tell, maybe Altair's done something in the background, but we'll let you know. So let's go ahead and time warp. Ready, go. Bam, just like that, we're all set up and mining, baby. This one actually went really easy and maybe it's cause I've already done a dozen of these different types of devices and they're all really similar. So just a quick rundown. I quickly just, um, when I plugged it in, I used my phone to find this Wi-Fi device, selected my Wi-Fi in the dropdown, found this, it was Bitax like 9991 or something like that. Connected to it, um, hit connect this time, allow even without the internet connection. Then I opened a browser tab on my phone I went to 192.168.4.1. It connected to the back end of this. I went ahead and put in my SSID, my password um, for my network. I changed the name of this to Altair Bitax so that I know which one is which. Um, whenever I look inside my router, it'll show up as Altair Bitax. And then I went ahead and add, went to the network configuration tab. I added my... Um, Pool. I'm using CK pool on this one. Um, then I added my Bitcoin wallet address dot my worker name. And again, I made my worker name uh, Altair Bitax so that I know which one it is when I'm quickly going down through my many different devices. And then I uh, hit save on both configurations, hit restart. Yeah, so there it is, man. It's fired back up. It's working just fine. I thought maybe I had a screen issue, but I actually didn't have the power adapter fully seated in there. And it just kind of flashed off enough to where I just had to reboot it, pulled the plug out, plugged it back in. Thought maybe it was a bad screen, wasn't a bad screen. Uh, I have replaced the screens. They're super cheap. Again, I'll put a link down in the description for those in case you do break one. Um, most of the time, I've found that when the screen stops working, don't panic. It's just a tiny little cheapo screen um, and they're super cheap. So. so yeah, there you have it. This is a beautiful little solo mining device. Again, will this make you rich? Will this make you anything? Most likely this will never earn you a penny, especially if you're solo mining. Um, but there's always that little chance. There's that chance that someday this hits a block. This little device here running on 20 watts a day hits a block. I earned 3.125 Bitcoin. So I don't know, three to four hundred thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin on this little two hundred dollar device. Again, I'll make sure to put links down in the description and a discount code um, for your use to get a nice little discount on this or some of the other Altair products. I want to say thank you to Altair for providing us for this review and uh, I think that about does it. If you're new to mining and need some help, make sure to join the Misfit Mining Discord. There's always plenty of seasoned vets willing to help you out. And if you liked the video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride. Pssh.